I got involved with CHIP uh, in around 2011. And after the loss of my nephew Austin to suicide, I wanted to make a difference in the community, but I wasn't sure how. And so when I came, I was welcomed with open arms, uh, both by uh, CHIP and the um, Suicide Prevention Council members. Vista Hill got involved with CHIP early on. We were one of the original core members of the community that came together to bring about the idea of CHIP. I'm really excited about CHIP's new mission. It's really about finding long-term sustainable solutions to some of our biggest health issues. So whether it's obesity or mental health or social determinants of health or access to care, these are all such big issues that we all need to tackle them together. And this may sound kind of strange, but I've, been, I've really enjoyed the fact that CHIP has also been engaged with some of the difficult things in our community that maybe for others would be a little bit too intimidating to handle, like suicide prevention and things that really matter. One of the interesting things that I really enjoyed was uh, after, um, like I said, almost 10 years with uh, the Child Obesity Initiative, to hear statistically that uh, San Diego is one of the few counties in California, probably in the United States, who actually had a reduction in the, the obesity rate. And I think we all felt kind of an excitement that, you know, maybe what we're doing actually had a, a great impact. What, what impresses me about a lot of the programs is the level of collaboration, we use that word a lot, but it's collective interest and collective in impact, or we work at the neighborhood level with the Resident Leadership Academy to make things happen at the grassroots neighborhood levels. That's where change occurs. That's what really excites me about what CHIP does. I think for me the most exciting part I've had with CHIP was uh, in 2011 when together with the leadership of CHIP we worked and successfully uh, achieved a grant for suicide prevention and a suicide prevention plan for San Diego County. And even today, it's making a great impact. One of my most favorite recent memories with CHIP has really been the community conversations through the Public Policy Committee, uh, bringing together uh, diverse stakeholders to talk about emerging trends in our community, hot topics. I am a true believer in the notion of the social determinants of health. We are realizing more and more how variable things are that have an impact on people's health and well-being. And I see CHIP as a strategic entity that can continue to bring broad representation to our regional attempt at dealing with issues that we continue to struggle with. My greatest hope for the next 20 years is that we can start to think about health in a broader context. It's really about our total well-being, including our mental health, and we need to create healthier communities Everybody needs to have a supportive environment that they can live in so they can make healthy decisions on a daily basis. And when we achieve this, that's when we'll have true health reform. CHIP has worked on things like getting antibiotic-free meat into our hospitals, getting farm-fresh food to preschools. These are really cutting-edge programs that I see CHIP leading on, in, even in the context of the rest of America. So I'm really excited to see that CHIP's not only seeing the solutions it has today, but looking for the solutions of tomorrow on these very big, intractable problems that we're all struggling with in community health. And if you took us 20 years out, 20 more years out, uh, you wouldn't recognize who we are, what we're doing, and, and this generation of new leaders will have taken over the reins. That's the future of change. The spirit of collaboration with CHIP is alive and well, whether you're the CEO, a program staff level, a volunteer, or just a community resident. If you want to participate in the solution, there is a place at the CHIP table for you. And there's not a lot of groups like that. So if CHIP hadn't have been here, I think, for the last uh, several decades, I really think that uh, the idea of all of the people working together in San Diego would not be at the level they're at today. We would not see that kind of uh, uh, collaboration. If it wasn't for CHIP, San Diego would not be a leader in collective impact, especially in food systems across our nation. If it wasn't for CHIP, um, I would not have had the pleasure to meet so many amazing people in so many great organizations in San Diego. If it wasn't for CHIP, San Diego would be nowhere near as healthy as we are now. Our death rates would be higher from a variety of causes, both violent causes, injury-related causes, 
and diseases. There's no question that CHIP has had a direct impact on the health of our community.